The journey of a human life begins with a remarkable event called fertilization. This is when a sperm cell carrying the father's genetic material meets an egg cell carrying the mother's genetic material. The sperm and egg cells fuse together creating a single cell called a zygote. Within hours the zygote begins to divide, a process called cleavage. The single cell becomes two, then four, then eight, and so on. These early cells are identical, each one a powerful stem cell capable of becoming any type of cell in the body. As the zygote divides it travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. By day three, the zygote forms a cluster of cells called a morula. Around day five, the morula transforms into a blastocyst, marking a crucial stage in the journey from zygote to embryo. The outer layer of the blastocyst, the trophoblast, will eventually form the placenta. The inner cell mass is destined to become the embryo itself. Around day six or seven, the blastocyst attaches to the lining of the uterus, a process called implantation. The trophoblast cells burrow into the uterine wall, anchoring the blastocyst securely. This connection allows for the exchange of nutrients, oxygen, and waste products. Once implanted, the blastocyst continues to grow and develop. The inner cell mass forms two distinct layers, the epiblast and the hypoblast, setting the stage for the next major milestone gastrulation. Gastrulation transforms the bilaminar disc into a three-layered structure called the gastrula. During gastrulation cells from the epiblast migrate inwards, forming the mesoderm, the middle of the three germ layers. The remaining epiblast cells form the ectoderm, while the hypoblast cells give rise to the endoderm. These three germ layers are the building blocks of the human body. The ectoderm forms the skin, hair, nails, nervous system, and sensory organs. The mesoderm gives rise to muscles, bones, cartilage, connective tissues, blood, and the lymphatic system. The endoderm forms the lining of the digestive tract, respiratory tract, urinary tract, and reproductive system. Once the three germ layers are established, the embryo begins organogenesis, starting with the formation of the neural tube. As the neural tube forms, the notochord develops from the mesoderm, providing support and signaling cues. Alongside the neural tube, blocks of mesoderm called somites form, which are precursors to the vertebrae, ribs, and skeletal muscles. Organogenesis is a highly coordinated process, with each organ developing in a precise sequence. The heart begins to beat by the end of the fourth week. The brain and spinal cord grow and differentiate, forming the complex network of nerves. The lungs, digestive system and other internal organs also begin to take shape. Limbs bud out from the embryo's sides and fingers and toes begin to form. By the end of the embryonic period around eight weeks, the embryo has rudimentary forms of all its major organs. The remaining weeks of pregnancy are dedicated to the growth and maturation of these organs and tissues. The journey from a single fertilized egg to a fully formed baby is a testament to the remarkable power and precision of human development.